What's up guys, my name is Noah Potts, and that little tune you just heard was recorded in Ableton Live Light Edition. If you don't already know, Ableton Live is a staple used amongst composers, DJs, podcasters, and other musical artists alike. Today, you're going to take a journey through the basics and get you comfortable with some of the vocabulary. Okay, so when you first open Ableton, it should look something like this. We're gonna click the top right, the three horizontal lines, so here on the right, you should see two MIDI tracks. Now, what exactly does MIDI mean? MIDI is the backbone of recording music. Additionally, there are two audio tracks here, which essentially are any outside microphones or instruments that you have plugged into your audio interface that is also plugged into your computer. Let's just say that you don't have an audio or a MIDI interface ready yet. That's okay, you can still record. There are two different ways you can do it. One, click the pencil icon in the top right next to the keyboard, and then you need to go to a MIDI track and click what sound you want. Now that I have my sound, all you need to do is double click on a random part of the track. You can click on any part of this grid and a block should appear on it. These are your notes, and this will be what makes your sound. So there you have the first way you can record without an interface. And the second way you can record without an interface is through the use of a virtual keyboard. What you're gonna need to do in order to record a virtual keyboard is to click on this keyboard icon right next to the pencil, and then click the circle icon on the far right of the track you want to record. So you would hit this. Then all you have to do is click where you wanna start Press the circle icon next to the square and the triangle, hit it. Then any of these notes that you play on the keyboard will correspond with one note in Ableton. So you click A, it'll be a piano note. And then you click D, it'll be another, G, all the way to L. So from A to L. Whether you are working on your own project or collaborating with somebody on theirs, Ableton Live is to musicians and podcasters what Premiere Pro is to filmmakers or what Photoshop is to graphic designers. Without these, their respective industries wouldn't be able to bring their ideas to life, which is exactly why taking the time to get to know them is so important. There is so much more to Ableton that I have covered today. I've just barely scratched the surface, so. Go out there, experiment, and create some art.